Hello everybody, Nutter27 here, welcome back to Splinter Cell Double Agent, and it has been a while since we played this game, a few weeks, but I want to go through and look at some of like the different options that we can do, there's a few I want to do in specific, once this all loads me in, I gotta somehow remember how to play this game too, but what I want to do, I want to go to the missions, uh, I guess normal, I you know, can I just do easy? This, just, I just don't want to get stuck on stuff. I, I don't remember how to play this game. They changed. Oh no, you can only do it on ones you already played? Okay, never mind then. I guess we will do normal. What I want to do, I want to do the hideouts part 3. And I believe it's part 4. Because I want to go back and I want to see what happens if we don't frame Enrica. That was her name, right? Enrica? I'm pretty sure. If we don't frame Enrica for blowing up the ship and we just, just let it blow up and see what happens. Or I want to see what happens if we don't blow it up and we don't frame her. And then I also want to see the last mission when we didn't kill Lambert. Because according to like the actual Splinter Cell, you do kill him. So I want to see what happens with those two. So I'm going to do part three first. And I think we're going to... Let's not let the ship blow up. And let's, let's just see if I get blamed for it. Oh, but I have to wait like the 25 minutes. I'm going to cut all that out. We're just going to skip right to the end. Right to the option. Alright, we're heading to where we're going to watch the ship now. And I, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot what option I said I was gonna do. Oh god, th this happened last time too. Yeah, I had to be just standing in that room for like 25 minutes. It's been very boring. Happy to finally do this. Working. Yes. Then you have nothing to worry about. Good. We're all here. Gentlemen, I give you the future. In three. All right, let's let's destroy the ship. I want to see what happens if we destroy it. All right. Such tremendous destruction in such a small package. That was a huge explosion. We should all show our thanks to those who made this moment possible. Enrico and our newest recruit, Sam Fisher. Yay. Yeah. Right, you were close. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Nice work, Sam. Enjoy the moment, gentlemen. As for myself, I've got to start getting ready for King Shouse. Oh, I lost a lot of trust with NSA. Alright, we did that. So now let's see what happens if we just leave the ship. Oh, I got an achievement, too. So now let's see what happens if we leave the ship and we don't frame anybody. Alright, let's jam the signal. In three... Two, one. Son of a bitch, it's not going on. Try the frequency again. I did, it's not going off. We've been screwed. What are you talking about? You screwed up, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know what happened, Emil. I swear, everything was perfect. I don't care that it was perfect. It isn't working. And that means you screwed up. <laughs> don't think you're clear on this, Fisher. There's plenty of blame to go around. Now get out of my sight. I've got King Shawson to think about. I mean, it seems like the same thing happens if you frame Enrica. You just, you don't lose any trust. I'm pretty sure last time I didn't lose any trust when I framed her. So it seems like that's really all that difference. Alright, that's all I wanted to see for that mission anyway. Let me get out of here now. Alright, now the next thing I want to see is part four of their hideout. Let's see what happens now if we kill Lambert. Let me introduce you to our latest problem. Jamie caught him inside the compound. It's like he was looking for somebody. Which pushes up our timetable. You think he's CIA? I don't care if he's PTA. Because I like you, Sam. You get to do the honor. Got your orders, Fisher. And Jamie, you have yours. You can give the boys in the surveillance room a show. 
put him out of his misery. All right, last time we shot Jamie, this time it's Lambert. We know this is like actually how the game ends. You have five seconds. Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna catch up with a meal. See you in hell, buddy. The bomb. Stop it. Take them all out if you must. Whatever it takes. Hang on. Help is coming. Well, that's amazing you talk considering I just shot him in the head. But okay. So where do I go then? Like, does anything really change? Just find and defuse the bomb, which I believe is what we had to do last time. Oh, I gotta try to remember my way around all this stuff. Oh, I did to the elevator. But last time, like, I had to sneak around and, like, shoot everybody, though. Now, I don't think I need to do that. I think I can really just go. Better get your hands on a real gun. Alright, let me get a gun, then. Remember, my gun's in the shooting range. Here's all my stuff. Can I get my goggles? Let me take my goggles. I don't even remember how to put on the goggles. Alright, I believe the elevator was another floor up, right? If I'm remembering all this right. Yeah. Then so I guess I'm gonna assume like this would make it easier then to do this part now. Cause I don't need to actually just like kill everybody. Sure, I could. Happy you saved all my stuff too. Sorry, forgot about that part. Where's the door? So I need to sneak by everybody. Cause then it doesn't really seem like much change. Whoa, what the heck is this? How do you crouch? Okay, it's B. I I gotta try to remember how to play this. But then, like, there's nothing really changed about, like, the mission, then? Oh, dang it. Because it seems like it's the same. I just go to defuse the bomb. But let's see. Oh, where are you going? No, stop doing that. Can I get over there? How do you climb? Oh, it is Y. Okay. I don't know how I remembered that. Get off. Let me turn off this light. Uh-oh. I'm still bad at stealth. Clearly nothing really has changed throughout all these games. Alright, I made it down the elevator and we're back down to the cave where the bomb is. I can turn this off. Now the question is, how do you take somebody down? I don't remember. It's not B, is it? Is it X? This should be fun to figure out. Oh, X pulled out the gun. Oh, how do you attack somebody? Okay. I should probably look at the controls. There we go. Looked at the controls. I know what I'm doing now. Kind of. I hope. But it doesn't really seem like much changes, though. I mean, we're still just deactivating the bomb, right? That's the objective. Yeah, defuse the bomb. So nothing changes at all. It's all the same. You just they they just don't know you're betraying them now. Now it's like more actual stealth. You coming this way? There's no way to like take cover. Oh no, here we go. I knew there was. Let's kill this guy as he comes around. All right, reach him. He's right here. There we go. Get him, get him, grab him. Sam, get off the wall. Oh my god, could not for the life of me get him. Oh god, where do you get the gun? Oh, why do I have this? Where's my actual gun? Oh, how do you grab it? Oh, wait, that's Jamie. He wasn't there the last time I killed him, that's why he wasn't here. Alright, but everything is the same, nothing's different. 
So, I mean, there's really no point in doing this. We've seen this all before. I think I'm just gonna shoot this guy just for fun. If I can remember the buttons. Just to remind ourselves of the old gun. Very nice. Oh, yeah, but... Oh, what? I didn't even know you could do this! Oh, imagine how helpful this would have been the whole game if I knew about this. I could actually have aimed for once. Okay, still not well. But I could have somewhat aimed. Where are they? Yeah, the aim is still just as bad. Even when you're on them, it doesn't kill them. Alright, ah, you can just go and kill me. Alright. I think we're done. Like, we can't do anything. Everything else is the same. I wanted to see what would be different, but... It's really nothing. It's just some cutscene stuff. So, I guess a little disappointing. I mean, I guess back then, like, video games still were very linear. Like, even if you could make other choices, it was always really the same. So, not much of a difference, but we still got to see him, so that was cool. Alright, that is gonna do it then here, because like I said, we've done all this before. We don't need to do it again. So, yeah, one more little adventure into Splinter Cell before we totally move on. Good bit of fun. But, yeah, that is gonna be the end of this one. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.